These paintings are like two years back or something like this, I don't really remember. And there are some more underneath. I'm not showing you my, my, my very recent paintings. I just covered it with something that was, you know, more or less it's work in progress. I'm trying to work on, for example, the movements of water or, um, for example, like the last, last series all about sky, how it's moving. I'm trying to, I mean, it's very strange because uh, I don't have my support. The canvas is still and the painting is still too, but I would like them to move. I'd like my paintings to express something from the life of the world all around me. So it's, it's a very close look to water, you know, fire maybe, sky, and all the dynamic processes around surrounding us. That's it. My last Syria, uh, this uh, sky story, is about breathing. I am trying to look uh, in the sky and to catch something something which is not permanent, right? Something which is in constant movement and still absolutely outstandingly beautiful, actually. Well, this is not very contemporary statement, right? Because we're not like running after beauty, not anymore. But I'm still thinking that uh, there is something about uh, this infinite beauty of the world and which we need to feel, not necessarily flowers and I don't know, this dust, but some something no machine could capture. You see, so um, this last this last uh, serial of skies is about uh, focusing on emptiness, which is not an emptiness, um, and uh, I couldn't focus. I mean, that my, that was my point for a few few months. I just couldn't paint. I felt that all these things I was doing, I mean, paintings and my art projects, nothing had any sense anymore uh, in front of the horror, actually. I mean, why would you, like, paint your beautiful paintings when people are dying? That was my dilemma.